Emily the Engineer Once upon a time, in a vibrant town called Buildsville, lived a brilliant and imaginative engineer named Emily. Emily had curly brown hair, bright blue eyes, and a mind that was always buzzing with new ideas. She loved solving problems and creating amazing things that made people's lives easier and more fun. Every morning, Emily would wake up early, put on her safety helmet, and head to her workshop. Her workshop was a magical place filled with all sorts of tools, blueprints, and gadgets. The walls were lined with shelves holding nuts, bolts, and gears of every size. In the center of the workshop was Emily's most prized possession, her giant drafting table where she designed all her inventions. One sunny morning, Emily received a special request from the mayor of Buildsville. The town's bridge, which connected the town to the nearby park, had been damaged in a storm and needed to be fixed quickly so that everyone could enjoy their favorite picnic spot again. Emily, we need your help, the mayor said. Can you design and build a new bridge for us? Emily's eyes sparkled with excitement. Of course, Mr. Mayor. I'd be happy to help. I'll start working on the design right away. Emily headed to the site of the old bridge with her trusty sketch pad and a pencil. She carefully examined the damaged bridge and began drawing plans for a new one. She wanted to make sure the new bridge would be strong and safe for everyone to use. As she sketched, children from the town gathered around to watch. What are you drawing, Emily? asked the little boy named Max. I'm designing a new bridge for the town, Emily replied with a smile. Would you like to help me? Max's eyes lit up. Yes, please. Emily handed Max a piece of paper and a pencil. Why don't you draw what you think the new bridge should look like, she suggested. Soon, other children joined in, and they all drew their own versions of the bridge. There were bridges with rainbow arches, bridges with tall towers, and even a bridge with a slide. Emily looked at each drawing and praised the children for their creativity. These are all wonderful ideas, she said. Let's use some of these elements in our final design. With the children's input, Emily finalized her design. The new bridge would have sturdy supports, wide pathways, and colorful decorations inspired by the children's drawings. She returned to her workshop and began working on the blueprints. The next day, Emily gathered a team of workers to help build the bridge. The children came too, eager to see the construction. Emily gave each child a small job to do, like handing out bolts or holding the tape measure. Safety first, everyone, Emily reminded them as they put on their helmets and gloves. The team worked together, following Emily's instructions. They dug deep holes for the supports, poured concrete to make the foundation strong, and carefully assembled the bridge piece by piece. The children watched in awe as the bridge began to take shape. One afternoon, as they were working, Emily noticed that a young girl named Lily seemed upset. What's wrong, Lily? Emily asked kindly. I want to help, but I'm not strong enough to lift the heavy tools, Lily said, looking down. Emily knelt down beside Lily. You know, being an engineer isn't just about lifting heavy things. 
It's also about thinking and solving problems. I have a very important job for you. Can you be our safety inspector and make sure everyone is wearing their helmets and gloves? Lily's face brightened. Yes, I can do that. Lily took her new role seriously, making sure everyone was safe as they worked. Emily knew that every role was important, and she was glad to see Lily feeling happy and confident. Finally, after many days of hard work, the bridge was complete. It was strong, beautiful, and better than ever before. The townspeople gathered for the grand opening, eager to see the new bridge. The mayor cut the ribbon, and everyone cheered as they walked across the bridge for the first time. The children admired the colorful decorations and pointed out the elements they had suggested. Thank you, Emily, the mayor said. You've done an incredible job. This bridge will serve our town for many years to come. Emily smiled, feeling proud of her work and grateful for the help of the children and her team. It was a team effort, she said. We all worked together to make it happen. That evening, as Emily cleaned up her workshop, she thought about the day's events. She loved being an engineer because it allowed her to use her creativity and problem-solving skills to make a difference in her community. Before going to bed, Emily looked at the final blueprint of the bridge, now framed on her wall, and whispered to herself, I'm proud to be an engineer. Every project is an opportunity to create something amazing and help others. Moral of the story asterisk. Engineering is about creativity, teamwork, and problem solving. By working together and using our unique skills, we can build wonderful things and make a positive impact on our community. And so, Emily the engineer continued to design and build amazing structures in Buildsville, always ready for the next challenge. She knew that with imagination and collaboration, there were no limits to what they could achieve.